All right, welcome to Linux Lite Learning. Oh, what a day this has been today. I have just spent the past eight hours trying to get Samba to communicate with mom's uh, Windows partition and my Linux desktop. And guess what, kids? I failed miserably. And uh, no matter what I try to do, I couldn't get it to work. I've uh, tried the uh, documentation in uh, the uh, Linux Lite instructions, followed them to the letter, didn't work. So I decided to uh, have a look online. I googled it. I went through the Ubuntu forums. I used every resource I could think of and still no joy. But I have found an easier way to share files from Windows over to the Linux desktop, and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. <laughs> okay, for today's exercise, um, Goodness, I couldn't get this working in a virtual machine, couldn't get it working on my own desktop. What a headache. And uh, I was reading, though, that this can be a headache for many users who want to transfer files. Now, since this show is technically beginner-friendly, I figured out a easier way to do this. And interestingly enough, this is a program I was using to transfer files between different Linux boxes. And I've already spoke about this one before. And this program is called NitroShare. And uh, you can get this from the launch pad. And this is what I did. Now, this is a 64-bit uh, version of Windows 7. And uh, when I installed this, I actually installed the 32-bit version because the 64-bit version was crying that a DLL was missing. And, uh, well, it, it just so happens that uh, this actually works very well with just the 32-bit uh, version installed on 64-bit. So what I did was I, I uh, downloaded the 32-bit uh, WinEXE file here and installed it on this machine, and it's running right now. And then I'm running the 32-bit version of Linux Lite. And if you're running the 32-bit as well, you'll want to get the NitroShare uh, 0.2i386 deb, and you'll need to install that. Or if you're running the 64-bit version, you can get the 64-bit deb. Um, now... Once you install that and activate the program, it'll be running in your menu. You'll have this little arrow on your taskbar right here. You can right-click on this and go into Settings. Okay, and then you can configure a number of things. For instance, I have this set to uh, store all of my uh, file shares into my Downloads folder. And I have a folder assigned on this machine for files that I transfer over there. Okay, now, uh, you can also change its appearance if you want the icon to be if you have like a, a light uh, panel you can uh, change that appearance to make it look dark or light and then of course you can select notifications I only have uh, it checked to uh, select if an error occurs now everything you're seeing me do here on this screen is the same dialogues for the Windows version as well and I don't have a screen capture utility on this device and I'm not going to install one either all right, and then under security here, you can uh, select like this to do a number of things. You can have it automatically accept files. That's what I do. This is on my own home network. So uh, I'm just going to have it automatically do that. But you can accept files that match the regular expression. Uh, always prompt before accepting files or do not accept any files whatsoever. All right, and then under network here, all right, you have your network interface here, broadcast settings. Actually, I left this alone. I didn't touch any of these settings. They seem to work just fine. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and open up my folder here, and you'll see I have the NitroShare uh, dev file here. I'm going to turn this computer around, and I'm going to share a file with this machine. I'm going to show you just how easy it is. So basically, all I have to do is there's an icon here. And uh, I'm just going to be doing it on the Windows machine. You're not going to really be able to see this. But you right-click and then select File, Send Files to the Compact PC. But in my case, on this machine, 
I am going to right click on the icon, send files to my Linux machine, and then a dialog is going to pop up asking me which file I want to send. So I just pretty much navigate uh, to where that file is located, and then select the file, and press open. All right, and now we have that file that just magically appeared right here. And with, when I click on this, file share successful if you are reading this on Linux. So very simple, very easy, and just just for the sake of uh, just for the sake of uh, uh, showing you how I went through this, I'm going to uh, send the send a file back. And why not send this deb file? So all I have to do here is I will right click on the Nitro Shale, uh, select send files to my compact PC. Then I'm going to go into my downloads directory here and I'm going to send the deb file. I'm going to open that. Okay. And then I have a dialog here that asks me if I want it. And of course I do. And of course Windows doesn't know what to do with the file. But if we turn around the computer here, you will see, or you probably won't be able to see too clearly, that I have two files in this directory, and I blew up the files really big. But it did transfer over. So really, that is the quick, cut and dry, easy way of doing this after exhaustive attempts of getting, uh, trying to get Samba working. Uh, I was really interested to find that this trick works. I'm really sorry I couldn't do a Samba tutorial for you guys. Maybe I need to do some studying and that sort of thing. Uh, but after eight hours, you would think after two or maybe three hours, I would have figured out something. But there was no joy. There could be something wrong in the way my network is set up. I have no clue. Uh, I tried everything to troubleshoot and I just couldn't do it. All right. Well, I haven't got a clue as to what I'm going to do in the next video. But there will be another video up tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.